Have you ever made these mistakes in English? I need to add more paper to the printer. I'll have some soap. Those women are my friends. Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Giovanna and in this video you'll learn how not to make these mistakes while having a daily conversation in English. To get started, let's learn some pronunciation errors that can lead to miscommunication in English. And the first one is... Those women are my friends. For the singular, we say woman. Woman. But for the plural, we say women. Women. With the short I sound. I. Women. Women. One woman. Two women. So, because the sentence is in the plural, we say those women are my friends. Those women are my friends. The second and super common mistake is... Wow, such a big sheep! So, the transportation is pronounced with a short I sound. Ship. Ship. And the animal is pronounced with a long E sound. Sheep. Sheep. So, ship. Sheep. Ship. Sheep. Can you hear the difference? They are super different, actually. The same thing happens with the next example and the next mistake. I need to add more paper to the printer. She pronounced it with a short I sound. And this is not correct because if you do this pronunciation, you're gonna basically be pronouncing the vulgar slang. Yeah, which is something not good for a conversation. The person can totally misunderstand you. So the right way to pronounce it in her case is with a long E. Sheet. Sheet. Paper sheet. Paper sheet. To sum up, be careful with the short E sound and the long E sound, such as in the examples that appear here. Hit, which is the movement, the force that you apply to touch something. For example, he hit me yesterday. He hit me yesterday. And heat, which refers to the hot temperature. Heat. The heat waves in California. Hit and heat. Hit and heat. You can clearly notice that there is a difference. Now, talking about grammar, let's watch the next mistake. The police is here. Let's go straight to the point. Plural nouns must go with plural nouns and singular nouns must go with singular nouns. So we say the police are here because police is a plural noun. The police are here. The children are happy. The people are talking. And singular nouns must go with singular nouns. The boy is sad. The boy is sad. The person is talking. The person is talking. One of the biggest mistakes that I frequently hear students making is between hear and listen. So what is the difference between hear and listen? They are different. They definitely have a huge difference. But dad, I can't listen to you. We use hear when it comes to a natural process of hearing a sound. So it's something that you don't stop to pay attention to. It's something that comes naturally to our ears. So we hear a noise. We hear someone talking. It's a natural process. It's something that we don't necessarily pay attention to. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear us? So you hear 
some birds you can hear some birds because it's a natural process you can hear me because it's a natural process you can hear a noise you can hear someone knocking on the door but dad i can't hear you while listen is the opposite listen is when you listen to a sound that you pay attention to for example, listen to a podcast, you literally pay attention to it. It's something that you do voluntarily, so you pay a lot of attention to do this action. So you listen to a song, you listen to a performance, you listen to uh, the teacher when she's explaining because it means that you're paying attention to it. So that is the difference between listen and hear. Now, please listen to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson about common mistakes in English. Don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it with someone who needs to learn these differences. See you!